Welcome to Nhi Le Audio Book. This is Nhi's enthusiasm in the books for those who have always followed. All content in this book is purely the experience and knowledge that she learned and worked on to achieve her accomplishment. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. Author Nhi Le is a makeup artist. Only after becoming a mom, Did she realize that her purpose in life was not only for herself but also for her daughter? She started her first business when she was only 18 before settling in Singapore. She was also a professional makeup artist for many brands such as Universal Studios Singapore, Chanel, Shane. Nhi was born into a broken family. Since the age of two, she had grown up without any emotional support or care from her own parents. Due to school violence and discrimination, she was way more mature than other kids at the same age. In fact, this tough woman has never let financial problems or degrees stop her on the journey to success. Getting married and settling in Singapore has greatly changed her mindset and personality. After two years of being a mom and getting over her divorce, she started to invest more in herself. Now, she is an investor, a life coach, and a real leader. More than that, she always spends her time helping the young folks and building Yale Foundation to help disadvantaged kids in Vietnam. Prologue If you are in the midst of career orientation, you are drowning with thousands of questions such as Who am I? What profession am I suitable for? What do I have to learn? Why should I choose that profession? What would my life be like if I learned that profession? Why don't my parents support me? This book can help answer some of your questions. Questions that no one but you can answer. But how to answer when you have not had the opportunity to live as an adult? You come to this book because you need a solution for the fact that your parents are not supportive of your dreams, mindset, and direction in life. You are carrying ambitions imagining an exciting and colorful future that you want to create in your own way. You are happy when you are about to enter the adult world. You think that you can design everything yourself and then your parents say, No, if you don't do what we want, you are unfilial. More seriously, quarreling, arguing make everything become worse in your home. So what to do? Let's get to the root of the problem first. Why don't your parents back you up? Number one, they want to protect their children. This comes from the love for children. It's also what motivates them to work, bring money back home to take care of the family. Nevertheless, it's also their weakness. Excessive fear as well as overprotective. They are frightened that you will get hurt, be wounded, be cheated, fail and so on. It's those fears that are invisible walls that prevent them from accepting your decisions and dreams. Let's imagine. If you knew in advance that jumping into the water without knowing how to swim would kill you or put you in danger, would you be willing to push your parents down while knowing that they couldn't swim? No, right? So are your parents, because it's only in the blanket that you know the blanket has lies. Your parents have partly gone through what you are about to go through because of their love for you. They do not want you to go into the pitfall. But they forget that the world is always changing. Maybe it's the same thing, but the way it happens is different in each period of time. Your parents' time is different from yours. That love is not bad, but loving too much without letting you experience it inadvertently pushes you to become a useless, inexperienced child who does not receive lessons from failure. Number two, they have unhealed wounds. Please remember, Your parents are human too, and as humans, they have unhealed wounds that they may not even be aware of. For example, they once dreamed of becoming a pilot, but their family's financial situation was an obstacle and they became engineers instead. That dream has always been cherished by them and when they have a child, they bring that hope and dream to the child. So, if the child grows up not following the dream they haven't achieved, they feel betrayed, failed and angry because they don't have the time to fulfill their dream. And you, the person they call hope does not help them to accomplish that. Remember that in all the books you read from the author, there is absolutely no right or wrong. Here the author gives you an overview, use your wisdom and the energy that universe gives you to see the problem. Back to the second reason. 
Don't be sad about your parents because they are human beings. They can always make mistakes and cannot be know everything in this world. The hardest thing you have to accept is that your parents aren't the superheroes you see in movies. They might not know everything in this world, so it's completely normal to love you and put their dreams and hopes on you, even if it's wrong. Maybe sometimes they don't even know this knowledge and don't even know that they do it subconsciously. Please forgive your parents after getting to know them better. Number three, they don't believe in their child's support ability. They do not really believe in you, or in other words, to them, you're still a baby. Remember that loving and caring for a child probably is almost like planting a rose or an orange in a garden. You can never know in advance whether the blooming orange will be delicious, the blooming rose will be beautiful. But ignoring those things, you still love and care for that garden by watering, fertilizing, exposing to sunlight, observing when the storm comes, etc. every day. True love is when the development of that individual is out of control, but we still love and care without asking for anything in return. And not all parents deeply understand this love because their starting point is loving their child with a lack of knowledge. Fear of losing their child, an obsession that their child is in danger or going wrong with the dream path. There are many reasons and factors why your parents are not supportive to you. But remember, your parents are human too. Forgive them, but don't forget to make rational decisions for your own life. Ways to have your parents support: Number one, waste no time changing anyone. The truth is that you have to accept that if your parents aren't supportive. You can't change them. Don't waste your time changing someone. First, determine if you want to be the adult who decides about your own life, and being accepted by society, your friends, or even your blood doesn't determine how you want to live and become an adult. Stop explaining to everyone what you want to do or what you are cherishing, because you are the only one who will take responsibility and understand why you want to pursue it. Maybe you are sad and heartbroken because there's no one in the world who support and believe in your dreams. But most of the successful people in the world were not supported or trusted, and being locked down upon when they first started or established a business. The number of people whose parents support of their dreams is very small. So if you are in the group of people not getting approval from someone, it's normal. Let's face reality, and now let's start building your dreams. Number two, plan for yourself. Plan yourself by using your free time after school or after hours of housework to learn about the career you want to pursue. For example, if you are a high school student and you have to get up early in the morning to go to school, return home at noon, have a little time in the afternoon, or have to study more in the rest of the day, spend time to find out about the industry you are interested in and learn more. If you don't have money, take advantage of the free things around you instead of gathering friends. If your dream is big enough, your determination is strong enough, it's definitely possible to find time to learn what you are passionate about. And as you read earlier, don't waste time explaining to others what you do and why you do what you do. They are not obligated to understand, and you are trying to get out of your emotional control situation to do what your parents want. Build your dreams in silence. This is the last way, which only for those who can already make money on their own. The average is 18 years old or older. Is to start moving out on your own, work part-time job after school to have money to pay for your life and build your dreams. Living with your parents and being financially dependent on them in adulthood is not the new thing in Asia, but that's also why you cannot get to decide your life yet. Since you are still financially dependent on your parents, it's natural to have to obey them. And sometimes your parents let you hear negative things from society, instilling in you a great fear when you want to enter life. The truth is that you have to earn your own money and live an adult life either way. Take responsibility for yourself, and no matter how much your parents love you, they will pass, and so will you. But remember, time doesn't stop to wait for your parents to agree, nor does time stop for you to be ready to be an adult. Time goes by, and if you choose to experience it earlier, your life will be less difficult. The thing to do is move out on your own, and certainly don't expect your loved ones' consent. Epic log. Hopefully, this book helped you to better understand your parents and help you to chart a path of 
personal development without having to depend on your parents' consent too much. Read, ponder, and practice. Thank you, everyone, for listening. See you all in the next episode. Welcome to Newly Audio Book. This is Nis Enthusiasm in the books for those who have always followed. All content in this book is purely the experience and knowledge that she learned and worked on to achieve her accomplishment. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything. Volume three. Please support me. Author. Nile is a makeup artist. Only after becoming a mom did she realize that her purpose in life was not only for herself but also for her daughter. She started her first business when she was only 18, before settling in Singapore. She was also a professional makeup artist for many brands such as Universal Studio Singapore, Chanel, Shein. She was born into a broken family. Since the age of two, she had grown up without any emotional support or care from her own parents, due to school violence and discrimination. She was way more mature than other kids at the same age. In fact, this tough woman has never let financial problems or degrees stop her on her journey to success. Getting married and selling in Singapore has greatly changed her mindset and personality. After two years of being a mother and getting over her divorce, she started to invest more in herself. Now, she is an investor, a life coach, and a real leader. More than that, she always spends her time helping the young folks and building Yili Foundation to help disadvantaged kids in Vietnam. Publishing supporters, graphic designer, Tintam, artist, leading to editor, Lâm Tu Hân, translator, Vân Ngô, prologue. If you are in the midst of career orientation, you are drowning with thousands of questions such as, who am I? What profession am I suitable for? What do I have to learn? Why should I choose that profession? What would my life be like if I learned that profession? Why don't my parents support me? This book can help answer some of your questions, questions that no one but you can answer. But how to answer when you have not had the opportunity to live as an adult? You come to this book because you need a solution for the fact that your parents are not supportive of your dreams, mindset, and direction in life. You are carrying ambitions, imagining, an exciting and colorful future that you want to create in your own way. You are happy when you are about to enter the adult world. You think that you can decide everything yourself and then your parents say, no, if you don't do what we want, you are an inferior. More seriously, quarreling or giving make everything becomes worse in your home. So what to do? Let's get to the root of the problem first. Why don't your parents back you up? Number one, they want to protect their children. This comes from the love for children. It is also what motivates them to work, bring money back home to take care of the family. Nevertheless, it is also the weakness, excessive fear as well as overprotective. They are frightened that you will get hurt, be wounded, be cheated, fail, and so on. It is those fear that are invisible words that prevent them from accepting your decisions and dreams. Let's imagine if you knew in advance that jumping into the water without knowing how to swim would kill you or put you in danger, would you be willing to push your parents down while knowing they couldn't swim. No, right? So are your parents because it's only in the blanket that you know the blanket has lies. Your parents have probably gone through what you have about to go through 
because of their love for you, they do not want you to go into their pitfalls. They forget that the world is always changing. Maybe it's the same thing, but the way it happens is different in each period of time. Your parents' time is different from yours. The love is not bad, but loving too much without letting you experience it potentially pushes you to become useless. An experienced child who does not receive lessons from failure. Why don't your parents back you up? Number two, they have unhealed wounds. Please remember, your parents are human too, and as humans, they have unhealed wounds that they may not even be aware of. For example, they once dreamed of becoming pilot, but their family's financial situation was an obstacle, and they became engineers instead. That dream has always been cherished by them, and when they have a child. They bring that hope and dream to the child. So if the child grows up not following the dream, they haven't deceived. If you betrayed, failed, and angry because they don't have the time to fulfill that dream, and you, the person they call hope, does not help them, accomplish that. Remember that in all the books you read from the author, there is absolutely no right or wrong. Here. The author gives you an overview. Use your wisdom and the energy that universe gives you to see the problem. Back to the second reason: don't be sad about your parents because they are human beings. They can always make mistakes and can be not know everything in this world. The hardest thing you have to accept is that your parents aren't the superheroes you see in movies. They might not know everything in this world. So it's completely normal to love you and put their dreams and hopes on you, even if it's wrong. Maybe sometimes they don't even know this knowledge and don't even know that they do it subconsciously. So please forgive your parents after getting to know them better. Why don't your parents back you up? Number three, they don't believe in their child's supportability. They do not really believe in you, or in other words, to them, you are still a baby. Remember that loving and caring for a child properly is almost like planting a rose or orange in a garden. You can never know in advance whether the blooming orange will be delicious, the blooming rose will be beautiful. But ignoring those things, you still love and care for that garden by watering. Fertilizing, exposing to sunlight, observing when the storm comes, every day. True love is when the development of that individual is out of control, but we still love and care without asking for anything in return. And not all parents deeply understand this love, because their starting point is loving their child with a lack of knowledge, fear of losing their child, and. Obsession that the child is in danger or going wrong with the dream path. There are many reasons and factors why your parents are not supportive to you, but remember your parents are human too. Forgive them, but don't forget to make rational decisions for your own life. Ways to have your parents support: Number one, waste no time changing anyone. The truth is. That you have to accept that if your parents aren't supportive, you can't change them. Don't waste your time changing someone. First, determine if you want to be the door who decides about your own life and being accepted by society, your friends, or even your blood doesn't determine how you want to live and become an adult. Stop explaining to everyone what you want to do or what you are cherishing, because you are only one who. Will take responsibility and understand why you want to pursue it. Maybe you are sad and heartbroken because there is no one in the world who support and believe in your dreams. But most of the successful people in the world were not supported or trusted in being looked down upon when they first started or established a business. 
number of people whose parents support or support their dreams is very small. So if you are in the world of people not getting approval from someone, it is normal. Let's face reality and now let's start building your dream. Way to have your parents support. Number two, plan for yourself. Plan yourself by using your free time after school, after hours of housework to learn about the career you want to pursue. For example, if you are a high school student and you have to get up early in the morning to go to school, return home at noon, have a little time in the afternoon, or have to study more and in the rest of the day, spend time to find out about the industry you are interested in and learn more. If you don't have money, take advantage of the free things around you instead of gathering friends. If your dream is big enough, your determination is strong enough, it is definitely possible to find time to learn what you are passionate about. As you read earlier, don't waste time explaining to others what you do and why you do what you do. They are not obligated to understand and you are trying to get out of your emotional control situation to do what your parents want, build your dream in silence. Ways to have your parents support Number 3. Move on your own This is the last way which only for those who can already make money on their own. The average is 18 years old or older. You should start moving out on your own. Work part-time job after school to have money to pay for your life and build your dreams. Living with your parents and being financially dependent on them in adulthood is not a new thing in Asia. That's also why you can't get to decide your life yet. Since you are still financially dependent on your parents, it is natural to have to obey them and sometimes your parents let you hear negative things from society instilling in you in great fear when you want to enter life. The truth is that you have to earn your own money and live an adult life either way. Take responsibility for yourself and no matter how much your parents love you, they will pass and so will you. But remember time doesn't stop to wait for your parents to agree nor does time stop for you to be ready to be an adult. Time goes by and if you choose to experience it earlier, your life will be less difficult. The thing to do is to move out on your own and certainly don't expect your loved one's consent. Epilogue Hopefully, this book helps you to better understand your parents and help you to chart paths of personal development without having to depend on your parents' consent too much. Read, ponder, and practice. Please support me. I pour my heart and soul into this book series for those who have always followed, supported, and joined with me on this tough journey. All the content of this book is entirely my experiences and knowledge that I have learned and practiced to obtain my achievement. Thank you from bottom of my heart for everything. Author Nhi Le. She is a young and successful investor at the age of 27. She always desires to bring back all the knowledge and she learned abroad to help the young generation of Vietnam. She has succeeded in turning her experiences and difficulties into the most precious lessons for young folks. After a lot of effort, she is the very first life coach in Vietnam, helping to change thousands of lives and having a great influence on many young Vietnamese. Publishing supporters Graphic designer Thanh Tâm Artist Lê Ding Chung Editor Lâm Tu Hân Translator Vân Ngô Thank you everyone for listening. See you all in the next episode.